Now let's talk about the second one. The second bolt is fear. And this is a big one for a lot of people, isn't it? Is that a big one for you? Okay, fantastic. You are going to love what you're about to hear here. But it is for a lot of people. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear that the employees aren't going to buy into this new concept, fear that it actually won't spread out to the, uh, to the customers, fear it won't make it. There's a million fears out there. Fear of the unknown, fear of getting started. And it's amazing because we get these fears in our head before they actually even happen, don't we? Have you noticed that? Here's an example. I was, uh, I was camping on top of a mountain the other night. And I am all by myself in the middle of absolutely nowhere, okay? There is nobody around me for miles and miles. I've got a 270 degree view of nothing but mountain ranges all around me. It was amazing. And it gets dark, so I've got a fire. Now I'm sitting there with my two dogs. These are my two watchdogs. And they are not two little chihuahuas. One of them is a, a pup bill mix, and one of them is a retriever. And they're, they're, they're my watchdogs, and all of a sudden, whoo, they alert on something out of the darkness. Now that's okay, that's what they're there for. What happened next was not okay. Because next thing I know, they are scrambling for room underneath my chair. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> There's something out there. And understand, I've actually chased a grizzly bear. I'm not that smart. I've been chased by a black bear. I've been stalked by mountain lions more times than I know. And the wolves are getting more aggressive out there. So I gotta find out what's going on. So I go walking out there. Now understand, all I've got is my little backpacking flashlight. Doo -doo -doo -doo, okay? And I go walking out there, and I'm stepping out there, I'm stepping out there, and all of a sudden, whoop, I got two yellow eyes looking back at me. Yeah, ooh. Now, when you're out there by yourself, you expect something's watching you, but to see those yellow eyes, that's a whole different feel. Now, I can't see what's behind there yet, so I've got to go further. And I take another step, and all of a sudden, whoop, I got another set of eyes looking at me. Now, I carry with me a 44 Magnum six shooter. This is the most powerful mass production handgun in existence, and it's time to unsnap it, right? <laughs> but I still can't see what's out there, so I take another step, and another step. Whew, I got another set of eyes looking at me. This is God's honest truth, everything. God's honest truth. Whew, time to pull it out. Another step. I got another set of eyes looking at me, and another set of eyes. Now, I have five sets of eyes looking at me. I only got six bullets, and I'm not that good of a shot to begin with. And right at that moment, my gun decides to malfunction because it starts vibrating. <laughs> now, what is the logical thing to do at this moment in time? Run, right? <laughs> Run back to my, my fire, right? And that's absolutely the worst thing you could possibly do is back down from your fears. Because if you back down from a predator, what do you become? Pray, absolutely. If you back down from your fears, you give them more strength. You give them power over you. And the worst thing you could possibly do, no matter how much you want to, is go back to the theoretical safety of your comfort zone because that's where dreams, goals, and people go to die. So I took another step forward and another step forward and another step and then it turns out I did see what was behind there and I was surrounded by a pack of deer, <laughs> of deer. That's all it was. What were they going to do to me? Eat my salad? <laughs> I didn't have salad. <laughs> No, but we get these things in our mind. False experiences appearing real. All the bad things are going to happen before we even take that step, before we even make that sales call. 